Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Build a Space Station. Now it has been a while I did not upload an episode of this series last week and the reason for that is that I was utterly and completely full of the cold and I did not think that any of you guys would want to see a video where my commentary is just me coughing and spluttering because bleh that sounds horrible. But anyway, I'm back, I'm feeling better, we've got to get on with this build. So today I'm tackling yet another of these outer rings, and today I'm going to build the railgun, the defence for our space station that will make it both a military power and something that will not just be raided by enemy factions. And I had a kind of image that I wanted this to look like in my head, and I managed, I imagined a long sort of barrel of the gun that comes out of a curved very sleek almost squashed circular base and that's what I'm building at that minute that sort of squashed circular casing that will be where all the power will be generated for this beam. So you can see me I lined out two different sized kind of circular areas and then try to figure out a way that I could join these together and merge it that would make it look nice and a bit, little bit different, a little bit out of the ordinary because I didn't just want this to be a standard shape because where would be the fun in that? So I came around and fiddled around with how I was making the change to make it look a little less artificial than it did the first time until I found something that I was happy with. So I then played around for quite a while on how to get the barrel idea to work and I originally thought of having two cylinders coming out but with the way I'd actually designed this it didn't logistically work to fit in two so I ended up bringing out the main area a bit longer which you can see me doing here this is still going to be the main casing and changing it slightly to give it a more circular outer face which would then let me design the barrel which is what I am doing now which you can see is a cylinder shape so it only has one barrel which wasn't what I planned but I think it made a good alteration because I did like the main body and I felt that I would rather change the barrel than change the body you can see me there I've built my outline out of just the steel blocks I haven't actually added any color and material into this yet because I just wanted to get the topography of it right before I thought about any of that stuff so you can see me coming around and changing with the way that these harsh faces curved a little bit and eventually I found something I was happy with so I decided I would mil build the barrel out of this white and I, I, I always forget what block that is but yes, I decided I would build the barrel out of that. You can see me coming along. And I've actually extended the barrel into the two sections where it was originally just going to be one. Because I felt that that break gave it a little bit of depth and variation, which I liked. And I went around the trim and the detail with the dark matter black block there. You can see me doing the exact same thing on these sort of almost winds that come out. Just a little bit of detail on the body to give it a bit of flair and a bit of something a little bit different. You can see me again going around and adding in that dark matter block just for that little bit of different colour. Although I did want to keep quite a predominantly steel body here because I did quite like that grey colour for the weapon. I thought that fitted fairly well. So then I decided to have a ring or a line of green lights and then I outlined them with the copper block that we've been using for the outlines of the lights quite consistently throughout this build. Because I like this idea of as the power is building, the lights come on charged up down the length of the barrel until it is ready to fire. And I thought that was a very nice effect. I then came around and tried to design the base of this, which is what would attach the gun to the disc. And this needs to be something that can maneuver 360 degrees so that it can defend from all angles and it can even shoot up and over the main hanger at the centre of the space station. So I designed this curved sort of base that would allow it to do so. I then came in and added a little bit more copper which kind of matches the style we've used for the Rin walkway and things like that to have it over a single layer on the bottom side. You can see me then going around and adding in things like cables and pipes just to add a bit of detail because this is of course a very high powered fin it would need a lot of energy flowing through it so I thought it added very nicely to the effect using things like transport pipes 
four times insulated cables and I believe those are the pipes from the red power pumps that I used along the side of the barrel. But anyway, I liked it. I thought there was a bit too much dark matter so played around with replacing some with other types of lock until I was happy and then I tackled the back of this which I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with but I ended up just curving it in and I liked the way that it all turned out. And here you can see me actually extending the bow just slightly longer to give it a bit of a nicer effect. So the next thing I did was went about to build the actual disc that this was going to sit on and I wanted this to curve down into the base so that this joint of manoeuvrability would be sort of hidden and a little less vulnerable than it otherwise would be. So I toyed around with changing the layers, having built a circle on the bottom and then I came around in a second to do the top layer here and then just filling in the gap to get that middle one. Because if you actually just build in, say, three blocks from the last layer, it'll end up forming into more of a square or an octagon, which isn't quite right. It doesn't look very nice. It looks very artificial, actually. So I had to come around and try and play around with it so it wouldn't look too much like that. And then I came around to add a little trim of this white... Um, I really need to learn the name of this block. But I had a little bit of a trim just for that little bit of variation to make it look just that bit nicer. And then I brought down the layer of it, and I pretty much just repeat here what I've done on most of these outer discs. I add a rim of the dark matter block around the outside, which I'm going to do now, just to add in a bit of variation to show the cutoff from the two sides of this disc. And then I'm going to come round along to the bottom with the copper block on the second bottom layer, which again is something that's been very consistent, sort of a house style for this space station, something that's been consistent throughout all of these outer discs. And I, I like having these consistencies, it makes it seem less like lots of individual builds and more like one big project, which is what it is. So I think that this is a good thing to get into the habit of doing, so I'm definitely a fan of that. But anyway, I'm just filling in the bottom here just something you've seen me do a thousand times. I probably should have cut this from the video, but meh, what are you gonna do? I'm sure you guys love watching me fill in the floor. That's the best part of these videos, isn't it? Oh dear, what am I doing? Anyway, yes, coming in, filling it in, and as it happens, I come down a layer just to make it look a little less flat and a bit more like a disc, a spherical shape. So I come in and fill it up, and there we have it guys, we have built our ray gun and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I play around here with having sort of struts coming up but I end up not enjoying it and removing them again. And there you can see our long rail gun and this is the sole defense for our space station, a powerful weapon and it makes it not only a militaristic force but also a defendable station. So we can see there again in the night view that those lights along the top really, I think, give a good effect and I really like the way those turned out. But I did realise I had forgotten to put lights on the actual disc itself. So you can see me running around here with levers and green lamps to fill in that gap and just make it a little bit brighter. And then I tackled the joining of this to the inner or outer ring, I forget what I call it. Um, but this, I didn't want this to be something anybody could walk on. I thought this would be remote controlled from the control areas on the top and bottom of the inner HANA. So I ended up not actually connecting it with a corridor and just with some struts. And I then came around and thought I would play around with the idea of adding a sort of spiral effect with copper blocks on the top of this HANA. And it's something I'd tried before but never really mastered and actually I was really happy with how it turned out. I thought it gave a very nice effect, you can almost see there in the distance. But then I came in and as has the theme of the fins been, I did a little bit of work on the inner HANA while doing the other discs. So I came in and today I built the stair cases for the top section. And these were almost an exact mirror of the bottom section, so I'm not going to bother showing me build it twice, you've already seen all that before. And there we go guys, that is it for this episode. We now have four of our outer rings done, so we're really making progress with this build. We have the nuclear power station, the medical bay, the oxygen station, I might start calling it. And just coming out around from the outer hanger, we'll start to see our railgun, our main defence, and I am so happy with how this turned out. 
because I tried in the past playing around with ways I could have done this, and I found it very hard to design ways that looked good while still giving that effect. But I'm very happy with how it turned out, I think it looks really quite nice. But of course guys, I want this to be an interactive build, so you guys let me know what you think of it. If there's something you want changed or something you're not happy with, we can make some changes. But I hope you've been enjoying this progress, I think it's going really well. Hit like if you do, it's the only way I know that you will. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.